While the nation is adjusting to a new normal, many of us are taking some time to check in on our friends and family. And so here at the Tennessee Titans, we're doing the same thing, checking in with former Titans and members of the Titans family. Right now I'm joined by former Titan, current neurosurgery resident at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, Myron Roll. Dr. Roll, thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. I know you're a really busy man. Tell me about how you're doing in the face of what I'm sure is a very chaotic time. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, it's great to be back with the Titan family. Um, it's been a very hectic uh, experience at Mass General Hospital. We're one of the largest hospitals in uh, the New England area and even the, in the country. We've seen our hospital transform where each um, employee has to wear a mask as they walk into our hospital. Uh, no visitors are allowed anymore, so the, the hallways are bare. Our operating rooms have been either turned into ICUs or will be soon, and our elective cases have been canceled. Our neurosurgical floor has turned into a COVID-19 only floor, and there's this hospital within a hospital. The surge clinic will be taking patients off the street who have COVID-19 or analogous symptoms to try to triage and manage them correctly. So my day-to-day -day life of taking out brain tumors or doing things of that nature, spine disorders and peripheral nerve disease um, surgeries are sort of put on the back burner for now as we face this very, very difficult challenge with these COVID-19 patients. So what's been the biggest change for you in terms of your daily routine? What's changed the most? I think what's changed the most is, um, you know, again, not doing the neurosurgical disease burden things that we typically would do. Uh, I got into medicine and got into neurosurgery because I read about Ben Carson when I was in fifth grade. I'm very passionate about the nervous system and the brain and the spine, I, I love it. Uh, but now we're dealing with patients who have respiratory issues and need to be turned prone, so on their belly, so that they can expand their lungs better. They need to be on oxygen supports or ventilators. They may need to be urgently or emergently intubated. They need to have infectious disease and our bio threats team and the right labs and the right CT chest and x-rays to be able to manage and figure out, is this COVID-19 or is this pneumonia or some other re upper respiratory illness? So it's sort of putting aside the neurosurgical part of our daily life that we love and now transforming ourselves into team players in this medical fight towards COVID-19, a hospital-wide fight. Now we've seen pictures of you walking around wearing your Tennessee Titans cap. Why is it so important for you to always be representing the two-tone blue? You know, I've read Tennessee uh, a lot, honestly, and I do wear that cap every day as I go into the hospital because it matters to me. I think this was a very great experience that I had in Nashville, Tennessee. My wife studied at Tennessee State University, so she's got some Nashville ties. My pastor, who I still talk to, is at Mount Zion in Nashville. Benny Fuller, David Thornton, Nate Washington, Ryan Moutons, and Derek Marks. You know, all my former teammates, Mike Griffin, we still talk. Uh, these are great guys. Smart role. My cousin played for the Titans. I mean, I just feel like I'm intertwined with the community and hopefully they are with me. And uh, it matters to me because I know football has taken me a long way. Being drafted by Tennessee after having taken a year off, that meant a lot when Coach Fisher reached out to me. I talked to Marcus Robinson, my former DB coach. It was, it was a great step for me and it helped me fulfill a lifelong dream and it's propelled me into this next career uh, and uh, I'm enjoying it for sure. Now, I know you're a busy man. You've got a lot to get back to. But before you go, I want to ask you what message you have for Titans fans who might be watching this right now. Well, I would say, first of all, uh, thank you very much for, for your support uh, for the Tennessee Titans. And thank you for the support that you're giving to your local healthcare providers who are on the front lines. That's the nurses especially. I mean, if you know a nurse, if you speak to a nurse, if you're related to one, married to one, thank her or him and tell them thank you so much for exposing and re-exposing and re-re-exposing yourself to these COVID-19 patients because you are truly, truly our heroes in this whole fight. And I would just say, you know, stay home, adhere to social distancing and physical distancing, have lifestyle behavior modifications, get a little bit comfortable being uncomfortable for the time being. Sports will come back, our Titans will be back, we'll have a season at some point. It may not be as soon as some of us want, but it's important to put the priority as the health of the country instead of the convenience of having our sporting life back and, and our Titans back. So uh, we'll get there. We just got to be a little patient and we're doing all the best we can in the healthcare world to get us there. Myron Roll, thank you so much for spending some time with us and thank you for all that you do to help the people of Boston. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it.